here. This is, you know, several months after your November events. Different vibe, different time of year. What's happening here? Yeah, well, what characterizes this industry is it's moving so fast. So after last November, I thought, listen, we can't wait another 12 months to bring those amazing people back to Malta. So we said, let's wait six months and launch this spring summer edition. And so we did. Uh, but despite the long crypto winter, despite the bear market, despite the European Union elections happening tomorrow, we still managed to get a buzzing crowd of 5,500 people. And I think the atmosphere is very buzzing, mm -hmm. also because we complemented what the government was doing on two fronts. So the government is launching a fourth bill to regulate the space of decentralized autonomous organizations. The government is working on a bill to give DAO its own legal personality. So we brought all the blockchain minds to consult with the government on that front. But point number two, the government is also launching a set of incentives in artificial intelligence because the government in Malta wants to bring all those companies to the island to relocate or co-locate. So we also brought the great minds of AI uh, to the island, so they're consulting currently with the government thanks to this show. Amazing, Iman. We've, a lot of people here are from Malta, but you've got a lot of international people here too. Oh, Tell definitely. me where everybody's coming from. Who's here around me today? Yeah, I think what makes this show special, unlike shows, for example, in North America, where you have a North American focus, it's truly global. It's been the characterization of a November show. Also, this show, we have delegates from Asia, delegates from North America, delegates from South America. So it is truly a global show where West meets East. Awesome, and what can we expect here in November? Oh, November is the big one. So we always try to come up with a, with a different angle. And I think we're trying to marry two completely different verticals, um, uh, hoping that they cross-pollinate between themselves. So during the same week in November, we have a medical cannabis show and the blockchain and AI show. Why did we do this? Because a lot of investors who have been smitten in the past by ICOs are looking at a more secure investment. And that's where medical cannabis comes in but also governments are looking to implement blockchain technology to trace medical cannabis from seed to patient. So I think no one worldwide will be in a position to offer those two verticals, the cross-pollination that we will do in November. Amazing, and a lot of my interviews here uh, at this event, we've been talking with gaming professionals that are really excited about blockchain. I know at Sigma even 2019, you're going to have a big part dedicated to blockchain, even CoinGeek and Bitcoin SV are gonna have a big part of it too. Tell us what to expect at that event. Absolutely, I mean, gaming remains very, very close to my heart. That's where that's where <laughs> I started six years ago and no one will take that away from me. Um, so yes, end of November, we also have a big gaming show. And I think we're tapping onto these resources that we've built in blockchain and AI. And we're going to have some killer speakers at Sigma speaking about blockchain. Awesome, I can't wait. You make my whole <laughs> year here in Malta. Thank you so much. Keep up the great work, Iman. Thank you, Becky.